Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? On March 23, 2021, a gust of wind wreaked havoc on global trade. Ever Given, an international shipping ve container vessel, became lodged in Egypt's Suez Canal, a major shipping route between Europe and Asia. The vessel took six days to blink. It's as heavy as 2,000 blue whales when fully loaded. So option A says dislodge in part due to its sheer size, comma. So this is incorrect because if you look at the sentence, there's two parts to it, two independent clauses. The first one, the vessel took six days to dislodge in part due to its sheer size. And the second independent clause, it's as heavy as 2,000 blue whales when fully loaded. So to separate these two clauses, a comma and a conjunction should be used, or a semicolon or a colon. But in this case, only a comma is used, so A would be incorrect. B. Dislodge, comma, in part due to its sheer size, colon. This seems to be the correct answer because it properly separates the sentence where it highlights how the vessel took six days to dislodge and separates the phrase in part due to its sheer size with a comma and then a colon afterward to emphasize why it was so hard to dislodge because it was so heavy. So B seems to be the correct answer. C. Dislodge, comma, in part to do its sheer size, comma, this is incorrect because like A, there should be a comma and a conjunction, whereas there is not a con comma and a conjunction, so C would result in a comma splice, and therefore it would be incorrect. So C is incorrect. D. Dislodge, comma, in part, comma, due to its sheer size. This is incorrect because like A and C, there is no comma or a conjunction and a conjunction, so it would result in a comma splice, and therefore it is incorrect. So the correct answer is B.